Okay, all that's left for us to do is personalize the text and add images to these placeholders that we have here. So let's open up our code and we're going to create a new folder. Let's call this images. And I've already downloaded images from social media. So I'm just going to copy and paste them into here, but you can find your own images or just find random in images if you want. It doesn't really matter too much. So I'm just going to drag and drop these all into here. Just like that. Let's come back over to our index.html and let's make this full screen. So the first image that we run into is right here. So let's go images. In the source, let's go images. This one's going to be pick of me. Let's change the alt to do to pick of drop. Now, if we look at that over here, we can see all of that. There's still a little bit of styling we should do. We can't see the border behind this guy. And this text is making it so these guys aren't spaced out very well. And then we also need to change some of this text. So let's open up our styles again. So I think on this one, I actually typed an L and this should be a one. So if we save that, we should see it over here. Now it has that border around it. And let's, let's edit these divs right here as well. We need to edit this class. Come over to styles. We'll do dot b1 info. Let's set the font size to 15 pixels. Let's set the margin top to five pixels. Let's set the width to 170 pixels. Save that and open this up. Now these divs are restrained to that certain width and there's a little bit more margin to the top. That looks a lot better. Let's come in here and change what these text links say, what this text says, and what this says right here, as well as this quote. Let's change this to projects. this to welcome to my website hope you enjoy reach out if you have any questions save that let's change this to here's a snap out of my life and let's change this quote. So I think there's a quote on the, I think there's a quote right here. Let's just copy this over here. So Okay, we'll save that. And this is a typo right here. Save that, and now let's preview the website. Okay, this looks a lot better. So the nice thing about this is if you actually wanted to customize this a little bit more, you could develop pages that when you click on these, it links you to those pages. And then, yeah, this actually looks pretty nice. There's some Cool CSS things that we used and learned here. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this project a lot. I did, and I'm looking forward to the next one. So, I'll catch you guys later.